everyone, today I'm going to be quickly reviewing The Menu, which I just saw in theaters. The Menu is about a young couple who travel to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish menu featuring some shocking surprises. One of The Menu's biggest strengths is its fantastic ensemble cast. And you probably could have guessed that fact just from reading the movie's poster. Anya Taylor-Joy, Nicholas Holt, Han Chow, John Leguizamo, and Ralph Fiennes were all perfect for their specific roles. Even the very minor characters got time to shine and room to flesh out their particular brand of douchebaggery. There was a wide array of stereotypical rich assholes in the menu. The ass-kissing foodie, the finance bro, the pompous critic, the washed-up film star. And it was super enjoyable to watch this diverse group of characters interact with one another and see their very different reactions to the stressful situation. Of the bunch, my favorite was definitely Nicholas Holt's character, Tyler. He had the funniest lines, the best deliveries, and every decision he made was both completely shocking and completely consistent with his character. Another strong point in the menu was its comedy. The dialogue was just hilarious. So many different lines got huge laughs in my theater. The menu squeezed every ounce of irony from the twisted situation. It was an excellent, cutting satire of restaurant culture, critics, art, and the rich. In terms of negatives, my main critique is I wish the menu just went further. I wish it was more brutal, more bloody, and more sinister with its later menu items. I thought the first half was great, the earlier courses were just twisted enough to satisfy the audience's desire for punishment, and just devious enough to raise the patrons' suspicions without crossing the line and spoiling the true nature of the meal. At around the halfway mark, once the cat was let out of the bag and it was revealed to the patrons what was truly going on, I wish the film would have taken the gloves off a bit more and fully delivered some truly twisted menu items. We don't get much beyond what we see in the trailer. I expected more brutality and creativity in the second half, but was slightly disappointed the menu didn't really escalate the stakes closer to the climax. Overall, I still very much enjoyed the menu. It was pretty much exactly what I expected, a very tense experience with a rich cast of characters, a dark sense of humor, biting satire, and a creative and one-of-a-kind story that will surely satisfy your appetite. I give the menu a 7 out of 10. Those are my quick thoughts on the menu. If you've seen it, please let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. Twice a week I post horror reviews, commentaries, and short recommendations for horror movies you should watch on Netflix and other streaming services. Thank you for watching my quick review, I'll see you all back next week for another horror video.